Hey guys, this time I'm going to show you a simple way, completely user-friendly way, to actually combine multiple spreadsheets within the same workbook. Now, what I'm about to show you can actually be done for not only spreadsheets, but actually objects within the actual workbook. So I'm actually talking about uh, name ranges or tables within that specific workbook. So I'm going to show you this file. And this is the one that I actually want to combine. So I have three spreadsheets. And I have one for August 2013, which actually is just a single spreadsheet with this table. Uh, then I actually have this one, which is a table within an actual spreadsheet. And then I actually have April 2013. And I'm going to show you guys April 2013, which is actually a name range. You can actually see here. If you go to the formulas uh, tab, ribbon, sorry, uh, you go to name manager, you can actually see that April 2013 is a name range and May 2013 is actually a table within this workbook. So for this to actually work, you need to actually save this data and the data that's actually saved in this workbook is the one that we're going to be querying or basically uh, loading into this uh, Power Query query. So we go to Power Query from File from Excel. We find that file, which is file 8. It can actually be uh, open if you want. And you're going to notice this navigator, which actually shows you the file name and the extension and the objects within or the actual type of object objects that you actually have in that workbook. The first one is a table for May 2013. This three ones, three icons show you the spreadsheet and the last one is name range. So instead of going directly at one of them or each one by one, we can just go to the file, go to edit, and we say that we can actually filter this so we can actually just take the data for the spreadsheets. So we filter this so we only get the sheets. Later we notice that this name is actually the name of the spreadsheet and this is the name of the item within that spreadsheet. We can actually go back and see that the name May 2013 1 is a table which is the actual table within that specific uh, spreadsheet. Now this is the name that you see outside here in your navigator and that's the name that it actually uses to show you a uh, unique name. So that is the actual unique name. Uh, as you can see here you can actually uh, in the item it actually has duplicates because uh, it's a combination of kind and item and in this case we just we just gonna go with um, the cheats, the spreadsheets. So we have this column, this field called data that is basically just uh, a table that holds all the data for that specific uh, spreadsheet but you're going to notice in the preview pane that the headers are actually part of the data and what we need to do is that we need to actually fix that we, without going to use the advanced editor we don't want to use that so we're going to create a custom column and we're going to use simple formula that says table dot promote headers open parentheses then you put the data which is basically a table because we actually need an input which is a table and then click OK we see here that now the table has been uh, the first row of this table has been promoted as a header you can actually see the difference, the difference now uh, from this table to this table, from this table to this one. So now what we can do is that we can actually delete all of these rows, or sorry, all of these columns that we don't need. We're just going to stick with the name of the uh, object and the table. 
we can now expand this just by clicking here and you're gonna see this new window uh, that comes in the latest uh, Power Query version of November and you see here a checkbox that says use original column name as prefix and if you do that you're gonna get a custom dot date name field or custom dot cross sales and we actually don't want that we just want the actual name of the fields and this columns column 5 column 6 column 7 column 8 uh, were taken from that spreadsheet uh, but they actually had either uh, blank spaces that were taken to be values of those cells and were imported to be part of either we either one of those tables but we are not going to be using those we're just going to be using amount date gross sales and product and you just click OK and this is what happens so you get a combination of them and you get this column that tells you the origin of this data so it actually came from the spreadsheet name August uh, underscore 2013 now you can actually go to home close and load and just load it to the Excel spreadsheet here you're going to notice that we have around 2500 uh, rows loaded and what I can do is that I can actually go back to file 8 I have it here I'm going to create a copy just going to go with this one let's create a copy where we're going to name this set of August it's going to be let's say that's going to be just June we're going to save this and then we're going to go back to where my actual query was created I'm going to hit refresh either here or this one and we just notice that it actually uh, has more rows and you can see here that the spreadsheet data from June 2013 was added to this uh, now you can actually use this uh, scenario or this uh, way of, of combining data to not only uh, filter this by spreadsheets but you can actually just use defined names or you can actually use tables and depending on the case you will actually need to use either uh, promote basically table dot promote headers or you can just leave it as it is because it's just a table and it actually has the headers as you actually need it so that is it guys if you have any questions just leave it in the comments thanks